Hello everybody. We are still talking about mass transfer uh, between phases and um, the relation between the overall and the individual mass transfer coefficients. <clears throat> and we have done this, uh, this or, or we're able to get this relation for systems where the equilibrium relation follows Henry's law or is a linear relation. Um, and we're going to do the same here for uh, cases uh, where the equilibrium relation is nonlinear, which is the case like this. You have the equilibrium relation is nonlinear. And uh, we're going to do similar procedure, but the procedure that we followed before is not going to be valid here uh, as it is because uh, in, in the previous case we had uh, the, the slope constant for the three points for uh, this point, this point, and this point. These three were on the same straight line. They all have the same slope. But in this case, we have a slope here, which is different from the slope here, which is different from the slope here. So <clears throat> I cannot unify the equilibrium relation uh, to be with the same slope for the three uh, points. So we're going to follow another procedure. And what I'm going to do in this video is um, I'm going to do the same procedure uh, that is done in the textbook just to be discussing the same the same topics in the textbook and actually <clears throat> the the output that we get from this procedure is not uh, like easy to use so i'm gonna propose another uh, procedure that is much easier at least for me um, and is more straightforward it doesn't require all these calculations that we will do here so uh, to to uh, get through the problem of having uh, more than or different slopes for the three points we are gonna define um, two uh, so so here again this is for variable slopes we are gonna define two slopes the slope m dash and slope m double dash so for m dash is the straight line that connects interfacial concentrations with y star and xa and this uh, this slope is gonna be delta y over delta x, which is y interface minus y star divided by x interface minus x a. So this is the the slope, and you can uh, rearrange the equation to be y interface minus y star equals m dash multiplied by x interface minus x a. Um, and we can define another slope, which is m double dash, which is uh, which connects the interfacial concentration with the bulk gas uh, concentration and x star. Um, and we can rearrange the equation to be x star minus x interface equals 1 over m double dash multiplied by y a minus y interface. So <clears throat> I'm just defining these two slopes uh, from the information that we know. And, and again, I want to remind you that the information that we know um, at this point is the this point. Uh, the 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 uh, the bulk concentrations or bulk mole fractions and the slope and from the the the, the slope and this point we can draw this the the straight line and from the intersection of this straight line and the equilibrium curve we can get this point and from the equilibrium relation or the equilibrium curve we can get this point and we can get this point so we know these four points uh, that we we have here so we can calculate the slopes we can do all the calculations that we want so um, when we combine the 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 uh, individual and overall mass transfer coefficients as we said before uh, we can we can uh, rewrite the equation to be in this form it's 1 over x equals the driving force divided by the flux uh, 1 over k i'm sorry equals the driving force minus flux and the same for the overall uh, mass transfer coefficient. So this is the flux equation rearranged to be 1 over the coefficient equals the driving force divided by the flux. So this, uh, these are the information that we're going to use to um, these are the four relations and these are the two slopes and the, these are the information that we're going to use to get the relation between the overall and the individual mass transfer coefficient. So what we're going to do is simply um, do what we did before that I'm going to say that x star minus x a equals x star minus x interface plus x interface minus x a subtracting and adding the same the same um, the same term is not going to make any difference and then we can rearrange the equation so that we can take this x interface uh, x, x star minus x interface and replace it with one over m dash multiplied by y minus y interface and uh, i'm going to keep this as it is and by by taking a look at these terms here and these these terms here we will see that this and this are the same this and this are the same so we can rewrite the equation to be 1 over kx equals 1 over m double dash ky plus 1 over kx. And similarly, we can get the relation between ky uh, or, or this relation for 
um, KL and KG. So this is in terms of, or when we have the, the, the equations in terms of concentration and partial pressure, this is how we can write the equation. The, the, uh, <clears throat> these two equations, and based on these equations, we can e easily tell that the overall mass transfer coefficient must be smaller than the individual mass transfer coefficient. And this, this is a very, very important piece of information that you have to keep in mind that uh, in, in, in all the cases, you can never have an individual mass transfer coefficient that is larger than the, uh, I mean, the overall cannot be larger than the individual. Because uh, mathematically speaking, this, 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 can, this term can never, never be larger than any one of these two. Okay, so this uh, this is uh, for the uh, liquid phase. For the gas phase, we can follow the same procedure. We can say that one over k y equal y minus y star divided by n a, and I'm I'm adding a y interface and subtracting it, and then I'm rearranging the equation. I have y minus y interface, which or y y star, which is this. I think I think this is y star. Um, oh, uh, this is this yeah I'm sorry, I'm, I, I did a mistake but this is this <coughs> and this x minus x star so anyways um, I think I did a mistake here maybe in this in this equation um, this is y interface this is not y star this is y interface but anyways the 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 equation will be 1 over ky equal 1 over ky plus m dash over kx and the same is valid for uh, you, you can do the same procedure, so it's, it's going to give the same thing uh, for kg and kl. Um, and the same here, the overall mass transfer coefficient must be smaller than the individual mass transfer coefficient. So this is uh, how we can get the relation. But you will see here that to be that if, if you want to do this, then you have to get the slope. So this is one extra information that you have to get is to use the 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 the, um, the curve to to get the two points get the the slope which is delta y over delta x to be able to calculate m dash and from m dash ky and kx you can calculate the overall mass transfer coefficient which which is which is it's okay but it it it's kind of like a, a long process but there is another option here that you can uh, that you can um, do which is I, I think i have some issue with the animations here but i'm, I'm sorry about that but you can you can easily start with the flux equation and if you start with the flux equation it is kl multiplied by the driving force in the liquid phase which is kl which is the overall multiplied by the overall driving force so simply simply you can rearrange the equation so that you calculate kl equals kl the individual multiplied by c interface minus ca divided by c star minus ca and if you if you check the the curve you will you will or, or, or the graph that we have you will see that all these information are are already available you know the interfacial concentration i know the bulk concentration and i know the concentration uh, the, the c star and the, similarly i can do the same for gas phase so i can calculate kg in terms of kg multiply by uh, these terms over these terms so this is much easier than doing this whole procedure you will just write the the flux equation get four four terms <clears throat> you already know some of them like c star i mean the c a and k l are already known from the very beginning so you only need to get these two points or these two values and you're you're done and the same here for p interface and p star uh, the same is valid for <clears throat> The units of mole fraction, you can get the relations between kx and uh, the overall individual, between ky overall and individual, and this is going to make life much easier. This is, by the way, this is valid for uh, for linear and for nonlinear relations as well. So this is this is one thing that you can do in case of having a linear relation because this is starting with the fundamental equation so in in, in this equation you're not doing anything uh, that is dependent on the shape of the equation uh, the the relation c star if you put c star as in case of linear relation uh, as as h over uh, or p over h then you'll you'll reach the same form as before but this is something that you can do mathematically but at the end of the day these terms you you get from the equilibrium relation c interface c star p interface p star x interface x star uh, y interface y star these are just terms that you calculate yourself so this will make dealing with these equations easier especially in case of of linear relations sometimes it, it, it gets confusing is it h over kg or 1 over h kg sometimes it, it confuses so th for me this is what i do uh, I, I just use this equation and it works in, in all cases 
So this is all for uh, for the the getting the relation between the overall and individual mass transfer coefficients. Next time we will talk about one very important thing is uh, understanding this relation between the overall and individual mass transfer coefficient in terms of uh, resistances, how the mass transfer coefficient can represent a resistance. So this is a very important topic we will talk about next time, inshallah. So I'll see you then.